Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can declare a method in Java and what is a method and why it's used. Now in this video, we will see some more properties we can add to a method. One I'm going to show you is called passing parameters to the method and other is called the returning values from a method. So this was the simple method I have shown you in the last video. Now, uh, it doesn't solve much of the purpose because uh, every time it's not flexible. It's only printing hello YouTube every time. Now, to make it more flexible, we can uh, add an argument to this uh, function we have made in the last video. So the declaration remains same. Public static is the access specifier. Void is the return value. Void means we are returning no value. And the name of our function is this one. And in these round brackets, we will pass our parameter in just a moment. And in here, in these curly braces, we write our statement. So for example, we want to uh, greet some persons based upon uh, their names. So we can pass an argument to this function like this. So we will uh, pass the name in the form of string variable. So we just give the data type first and then we give the value or a variable name which we want to pass. So we can say name, okay? So this kind of uh, declaration inside your round bracket in the function is called the parameter passing okay and this parameter name which is a string you can use inside your function so if you want to say hello or whatever name is passed to the uh, function then it will uh, you know print that name so whenever we call this function say hello to the main method for example we call the name john then it will greet hello john okay so i will run the program and it says hello john and this function can be used to greet more than one function for example john uh, Tom or uh, for example some other name Mark for example and it will greet all three names hello John hello Tom and hello Mark okay so this makes our function a little bit flexible in a way that we can uh, you know use it according to our use okay the other use of this function, we can use it to add, for example, uh, with integer. So here you can pass any number of parameter. It's not necessary that you need to pass only one parameter. You can uh, pass multiple parameters in here, in, as in parameter, right? So how we can do this? We will declare one more function, for example, public this should be public static void because we are not returning anything and now we will make a function called add which we want to add two values in using this function okay and in here we can pass multiple values whatever number of values you want to add for example int a comma int B, for example, we want to add these two values and print the result. What we can do is we can just print these values by calling A plus B. So just write A plus B. Okay. And what this will do, whatever you pass as an argument here and here, it will add these two values and print on the terminal, right? So when I run this program, first of all, I need to call this add function. I will delete this say hello. 
from the main and I will call this add function and for example I want to add two integers and this is 100 and 201 for example I want to add and I will run the program and it prints the result which is 301 using this code okay and now I want to add some more integers for example I want to add some values and some other values and I can do it with the same function so this makes your uh, job really easy using a same function you can add different values or you can perform different operations on different values right so it makes your code really uh, you know readable and understandable at the same time now you can add more in parameters like in C and you can add this parameter here and in here you can add some more integer values like this okay so it depends upon you how many parameters you want to pass to your function and it will give you the result okay so it's uh, totally dependent upon you the only thing is you just need to give the data type and the variable which will hold these values so indirectly whenever you pass 100 as a first parameter 100 is equal to 100 becomes a here and it goes here okay so the value of a becomes 100 and value of b becomes 201 in this here and value of c becomes 211 here so they will be replaced and they will be called and the answer will be printed on the console okay now to make it more flexible this is called parameter passing but you know we can only uh, pass the values and if we want to uh, access the result using these parameter passing we cannot access the result so for example we want to use this uh, result 512 in our main function to you know do some other arithmetic operation how we can use it okay so it's using this function it's not possible right but there is a way to uh, do this and the way to do this is by returning some value so we will modify this add function a little right now it's uh, returning void void means it's not returning anything but when we want to uh, use it inside our main function when we want to use the result inside our main function we can reserve return integer value okay and this return value will tell what kind of value you want to return from your function and the same you will return from here so just write return and just write a it should be a plus b plus c okay and in this way what you are basically doing is you are taking all the values which you pass from uh, or in these in this function and you are adding this and you are returning from this function so let's take an example of uh, this so let's uh, comment this system out for now and right now what we are doing is we will just add the values we are passing these three values and we will return and whenever a function return anything you can store it in other variable but of the same type so the data type of the returning value and the value in which you want to store the return value should be same so this is integer and this is integer or int right and you can call this add function and paste it here and what this basically do is this will add 100 or this will re replace uh, a as 100 b as 201 c as 211 
and it will add these two values and it will return uh, this uh, sum and you can store this sum in some other variable okay and then you can print this value like this so you can call sum and this will give you or you can access this value inside your main function like this so this is due to this and if you want to do uh, some other arithmetic operation on this sum you can do it for example int result sum multiplied by for example uh, 15 you want to do you can do it like this and this should be equal to and you can call your sum like this and you can just run the program and it will give you uh, the multiplication of whatever sum you will get from the add function adding these three numbers and then you can do some arithmetic operations on the sum you get as a result and you can multiply it by or whatever arithmetic operation you want to do and you can store this result in another variable and you can use it so in this way the function or methods made it really easy to you know organize your code and make it really concise really readable really understandable and it also makes your code uh, you know prettier so i hope you have understood the basic concept of passing parameters like these and returning values like these okay in the same way you can uh, make any uh, logic using these function for example multiplication you can make a function to make multiplication you can make a function to uh, you know do divisions you can add two numbers to you can uh, subtract two numbers or any complicated you know arithmetic or logical or anything you want to do you can do it inside a function and you can take arguments or parameters here and you can return the result so that you can use it uh, in your main method so i hope you have understood the basic concept of taking parameters or passing parameters to a method and returning values from a method i hope you have understood the concept and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now